Sorry, brother. I went on the inside because it puts me at a right-hand peak versus his left-hand peak. Trying to push on the outside, it's the opposite. But he had a bolt these sides. It's going to be in an advantageous position anyways. Speaking of which, I'm going to go back and take his bolty and grab the extra ammo because I can use it to kill Caban and friends a lot easier. Funny enough, the, uh, the M4 with M855A1 isn't super ideal for trying to take out the guards. They eat M855A1 for breakfast. Peek from here. I don't know if anyone backfills that. Yeah. I think that's that part of it. Let's check our what's on hall. Yeah, now we just got killed the 50 PMCs. Cool. Let's do it. I think what I'm going to do is push across the sparge and do the jump up through the window. Because trying to push it straight across when when they're inside that container is a bitch. They just have such a good uh, spot to fight from. They see your entire body. You only see their head. It's dark. Now, we've got two options here. I can go the loud route. And I can put a nade out to trigger Kaban to run. Because he could be in that corner over there. And I have a left-hand peek for him. And it's not super ideal to try to to try and take that left-hand peek for him. Or I can go the quiet route. And we kind of just, we could wait here for this guy to go clear Kaban and then kill him. The quiet route's definitely the smarter play. The louder route's more fun. Trying to peek him through the crack. Only got one. Didn't do much, much boss hunting. Okay. I was about to say, holy shit, played most of the day. and only got one. Be some super unlucky spawn rates. My guess is he tried peeking, didn't see the boss there, so he's gonna peek inside that other side. Yeah, okay. did the power slide, spun, spun. He probably thinks I'm a scav. He's up inside the thing. I think he already killed Caban, looted him up. I came in too late. Unfortunate. What does he have here? PS ammo. Yeah, we're taking it all. I trust him to have looted up the good stuff. Prone, did he die? Died. Okay. I'm gonna repack my mags or go pick my other one up. I don't know. Oh, I didn't mean to drop out. Oops. Oh well. Gone forever. He's just walking inside of uh 
Так. Risky there. Missed a lot of shots off the start. Wasn't ideal. Run low on ammo, dude. May repack my bags. Or just get the fuck out. Should not even be looting. Oh well. Okay. Alright, let me get my bag. Go back and grab the rest of that loot. Then I'm actually gonna leave. Reset. <laughs> I probably just need to not bring in a bag, otherwise I, I don't know if I can leave behind meta stuff. I have a problem. Alright, we're just gonna reset. I don't want to spend all that time looting and to potentially die to that guy. That'd be lame. Let's go ahead and break down that last fight real quick. We heard one or two. I can't remember what exactly, but we heard someone shoot over here. I stopped the sound horror for a second. We actually saw him run in here. We saw him run in the back door and he closed the door behind him. So I pushed up, stopped the sound horror for a second. Um, but this is this is kind of a risky peek because it's a left hand peek versus a potential right hand peek. So you want to try and avoid that. I open the door, back it up. Then I sprint across while looking. Uh, we saw one of them and he shot at me there. And so I go for just a quick peek. We hear the one running. So I stop and kind of like look over, uh, and I need to make sure that he's not going to push out this door and go, or even out front. He's running out front as we can kind of hear the audio cue shipped on glass and then, um, a little further away. And so I need to position myself to block the angle. From the outdoor so i can take a 1v1 or a 1v1 you don't want to you don't want to be to where it's a 2v1 right you want to you try and keep it 1v1 the entire time so we saw that guy there i should take that shot i he blended him well i honestly didn't realize that it was a uh it was a pmc i thought it was just a plant some went for the repeat again that was kind of risky i'm trying to get a right hand peek here and i should have sprinted across rather than just walk across because he could have domed me there uh trying to get a right hand peek but this metal bar here is kind of in the way. It's like if it goes too low, it's going to um, uh, barrel stuff me. I'm, my gun's going to go to the left. So I try to get a lean in there. But right there, see, it barrel stuffed me. I was like, okay, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to crouch and then lean. And we saw him. I went for the shot, but I missed. And I also hit a lot of the uh, the metal bar. And now he's going to reposition inside. And I was like, okay, I can since he's repositioning, I could take the 1v1 on the outside. So I went for the swing. The, the M4, little to no recoil, so I felt pretty confident in being able to take this fight at range and just mag dump at him. Risky to do a left-hand peek versus him here, uh, but at range, I, I felt fine with it. And so went in for the sprint, aimed on sight, went for the spray. Tagged him a little bit there. Not enough to kill him, obviously, but a little bit. I was worried about the guy inside pushing now, so I dropped back to do a reload. I hear him pull out the nade, go for the push. Kill him. I need immediately need to get away from the nade and then also to right hand peak because we saw that guy run left to right on the far end. So he's probably coming back in the store and he's going to be healing. Uh, jump to get away from the nade. And we got a quick peek on him right there. And he, he was healing. And so I just spray him. And we ended up killing him. I wasn't sure if he proned or not. You didn't even say it. Shots look good. So I was pretty sure I, I'd killed him. And he had the, the blackjack on. So it was an indicator that it was the same guy that we fought from the outside. But yeah, that's that's why I went um, around that fight. I did what?
Should have put an aid in there. Should have put an aid. man uh that last one could have been a third party oh fuck dude you just click on the person you can, like double click on that or click search here if i understand the question See him there, dude. Little floating particles. Loadout recommendations for woods. Uh, Hunter, the Vepper Hunter, the Vepper Hunter, for a starter, I think is good. It's cheap, you rock some M80 in it, packs a punch, got a good uh, buff recently, or SVT, that one would work too. Let me search this body while we pack this knife. There we go. Yeah, Hull. Appreciate you, man. Now the DVL, it's big and doesn't cost a whole lot. If it was a suppressed DVL, I would take it. Oh, there. We saw him.
Oh, I ran back into his fucking shot. God damn it, dude. That's so unlucky. So, we pushed up. Ran across. Did a right-hand peek here. The guy runs... I thought he was going to run across, so I went for the fire. Uh, but he just did a quick peek. And so... Missed my spray on him. Didn't... There was multiple. There's three more. I didn't want them to uh, one hold and then the other put a nade out. So, I ran across. Closed the door. Went to go for a flank. Because they're on the march room floor. I was like, they, they can easily, uh, they probably, that's probably what they were going for was marked room just because that's the only thing of value up there to loot. So went back down, went for a full, uh, sprint across. A lot of people don't know about the jump up and won't be ready for it. And so went for the peak up, jump, jump, boom, got him. I should have put a nade out there. I should have put an eight out uh, into the room, but didn't. So each time, since I'm one one via team, each time I shoot, I try to get a kill shot and then reposition. As soon as my position's exposed, reposition, repeat in the same angle is is trouble. And you mentioned it there. We go back to our original spot. Gotta make sure that they didn't backfill me. Not seen anyone. Peek, peek, peek. He runs across. I'm not hearing anything. I went for the push. Because he started searching there. Now what what they could have done was one start searching and the other uh wait for me to push it. That's why I was worried about for a second, is that like as, as soon as he starts searching, the other one's holding, so basically they were baiting. Uh but since I didn't hear anything on the right, uh I was like, okay, we they're they're probably both in marked room. And if not, I'll just try to get a peek shot on this uh, guy to the right when he peeks me. So pushed up. Nothing in the corner. I go forward. I hear him in the left. Went for a pre-fire. I heard the one on the right. And I was like, okay, I have to, t for a good 1v1, I need to hold this left-hand angle. And so I get a right-hand peek against this guy. I peek into him. Tagged him up a little bit. Nothing. After I didn't get that kill, needed to reposition because what's his teammate going to do? He's going to try and cover his boy. He's going to try and try and save the day, right? So he comes for the peak. Nothing. He steps out. This is kind of risky because I'm in a left-hand peak versus his right-hand peak. So I went for the, the re-peak and pre-fire. You can already see that I'm hitting the door right there. And then just mow him down. And then immediately going for the uh, peaker's advantage. Sprint inside, aim down sight, or hip fire on the guy on the right. Because as soon as... He peeked out and went to sh went to shoot me, and I killed his teammate. What, he, the last guy is likely to try and push in W key. He's not gonna he's not gonna sit in there and wait. Uh, he's gonna either be one of two things: either go for the aggressive play or go for the heal. He he wasn't healing, but he went for the aggressive play. It wasn't like super aggressive, but he was walking forward there, going for the shot. I didn't want to disengage and try and get shot in the back, so it was, it was a immediate last guy got to push take take advantage of the peekers, um, advantage. So, but yeah, that was the play, and then. We're healing. I think I got the second heal off here. And I heard another guy come up. Yeah, we hear him. He didn't immediately push. I was like, okay, maybe I could, I could pop this ETG. That's going to quick heal me. He put a nade out. It didn't come inside. I saw his gun there. And that is basically what would have happened if that guy didn't come out the doorway on the third to last guy there. Um, whenever I said like, oh, that was kind of risky because I was in the left-hand peak versus his right-hand peak. If he would have just kind of hit fire sprayed from the inside, uh, he would have had an advantage on me. And so like right there, I see that guy's left side before he sees me on his screen at all. My hit fire advantage, uh, right-hand peak, won me that fight at the end. I looked downstairs, look around, wasn't anyone else. We looted up. But yeah, that was the breakdown of that guy. This is a really good spawn to look for Killa. And we haven't had any packet loss. Is this the round? Oh my god, dude. That scared the piss out of me. Holy shit. I'm gonna 
go check over here first. Pull quite a few. I don't know why I didn't shoot off the start. Pretty sure there's a guy up top too so it's gonna be kind of hard to get an advantage on that fight i'm gonna try and wrap around i almost got him with that mag dump dude ready for a god tier flank definitely an extra challenge with bitbot Spotting exclamation point tips and go to tip number three. I I did kill him with the bitbot spray. They immediately wrap around. I would have I would have played it the same and then just popped the ETG to heal up quicker as soon as I killed that first guy and the other guy was behind cover and you could hear him like breathing heavy uh I I felt confident in having that fight because I was able to make it to, to hard cover and then he was behind cover having to heal maybe repack a mag or whatever I don't know why he didn't fully engage but he he was certain It wouldn't have hurt to pop like an ETG before I went to for the fight on the last guy, but I felt confident against him. Oh, 
Here, that was the other two that we saw. Now we're gonna have to deal with player scabs. No, I didn't. I didn't finish the heal on the leg. I canceled it because I heard the guy running. I thought. I thought he was drilling to push me. who shot over here it, like it could have been them but I kind of doubt it <sighs> this guy's underground I don't, I don't know where that guy went. Which I see. I'm not going to go too far. I just wanted to check because uh, from an underground, you could sneak up a few different ways to get eyes on me as I'm looting, and I didn't want that to happen. It's rare. Not like one out of 20 raids, roughly. Definitely rare. And swapping it. But we might have killed all the life things that are in the area. He's missing his bag. Wait, no, he, he had his bag. I took it. What extract we got? Because we are pushing it on time. There's a better armor. Hope we're going to be taking that. I'm going to be playing a lot of arena when that drops. I'll be playing any other type of looter shooter extraction based game. Um, haven't really dabbled in dark and darker as much. And that's kind of a looter shooter extraction based game. Not so much a shooter. Unless you're the archer. But yeah. Sometimes. Main, mainly Tarkov though. Stinky reports. Oh, is Dap life? No, they ain't going to. Dap's a good guy. Holy M4s, man. 